Today it's about financial literacy, meaning to know how to handle cash efficiently. And when it comes to money or learning new skills, it's always a great idea to strive to find the best mentors. When it comes to money, one of the best mentors in the world is Grant Cardone. He's a self-made billionaire. He started out broke, made uh, his commitment with himself to become a millionaire and has worked on that goal since his early 20s. Meanwhile, he became a billionaire and uh, has written a book about his experiences. Uh, it's called The Millionaire Booklet and he teaches in this booklet all of his learnings on how to become a millionaire. He broke the process of becoming a millionaire down into seven steps. I read the book in February 2020 and here are my five most important key learnings from the book. The key learning number one is everybody can become a millionaire. Surprise, surprise. It's not necessary to inherit wealth or to win in the lottery. It's possible that every person on this planet can become a millionaire. Being rich is often attributed to having rich parents or pure luck. These are the two main excuses for why people stay in the same place every day. Grant thinks that everybody anytime has everything needed to become a millionaire. He points out that he believes everybody has to follow this path. It is a birthright. Becoming a millionaire isn't unfortunately taught in schools or colleges. Society frowns on anyone who talks about getting rich. Some even protest against those who have created financial independence. Takeaway number two, make the decision to become a millionaire. Money is part of the world. It's neither good nor evil. It's just a simple tool. It's like a knife, an iPad, an iPhone, a book. It's just a tool. Dwelling on stories from the past or uh, perceptions or opinions of other people like uh, rich people are evil, you do not need a lot of money, is useless. Mostly stories told to us by other people who were just jealous not to have money. Becoming rich is a decision. Convince yourself to become a millionaire, multimillionaire or even a billionaire. Whatever goal you set, it's right and it's fine and everybody who acquired riches will emphasize with, with you. It is a birthright to use any tool that's accessible in the world to achieve your dreams. Grant suggests to put a stake in the ground and tell yourself, I'm going to be very, very rich and I'm going to help a lot of people in the process. It's one quote of the, from the book. But is that actually possible? Always remember, 80% of all millionaires are self-made. Takeaway number three, the millionaire math. I especially love this part of the book because it breaks down very simply that most of the people in the Western society come in touch with $1 million throughout their lifetime. Reading that most of the people come in touch with $1 million throughout their lifetimes makes things very easy, especially the work on changing the mindset. Here is the revealing part of how easy it is to get $1 million. Um, easy, why? Because you will see it in a few seconds. So the only thing you need to do to come in touch with $1 million is having a salary of $50,000 for 20 years. 50,000 times 20 is 1 million. Or you increase your salary to 100,000 
dollars for 10 years or you increase your salary to $250,000 for four years or you earn $114 per hour for every single hour of a year, it's one million. Or you invent a product or sell a product to 5,000 people which is worth $200 or something that is worth $500 to 2,000 people or $100 product to 10,000 people or a $1,000 product to 1,000 people or we are in the internet economy meanwhile you offer an online service for $17 per month to 5,000 people and surprise surprise it's 1 million within 12 months or you offer a $42 per month service to 2,000 people or $83 service per month to 1,000 people or $160 per month service to 500 people or $278 per month service online to 300 people for 12 months. This is the math behind getting a grip on $1 million. Simply put, this leads us to key takeaway number four work on increasing your income mindset is everything but only one thing you have to put it into reality so always strive to increase your income you have a job fine go to your boss and ask one simple question what do i need to do in the company to increase my income i am pretty sure most of the bosses have never heard this question and with only asking this question uh, you will stand out from the crowd. So do you not think it is possible? We are living in the digital age. eBay, if you can't increase your salary, Grant Cardone suggests sell things. It's also something Gary Vaynerchuk says, flip things. Look into your house and everything that you don't need currently sell it on ebay and when you're done with your house go to the house of your family and friends and ask them what do you have that you would like to throw away and don't need anymore i would only recommend not to take the garbage so but there are many 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 things which people would be happy if they have someone uh, who helps them to get rid of uh, unnecessary stuff in the house that they're just too lazy to throw away and you can sell it on ebay if it doesn't sell, you can throw it away anyways. So go look for things you no longer want and put them up for sale. Don't even worry about how much or little you sell them for. If you don't use it and you already bought it, it's sunk costs. So every dollar you make with something that you have in your house and you don't need anymore, it's one dollar more that you can use for other things. And by doing so, you prove to yourself that you can increase your income anytime. It's another quote from Grant's book. Money seems to flow to those who give it the most attention and take the most responsibility for it. There are so many ways to increase income these days. One of my friends, for example, is a flight attendant. She is meeting thousands of people every year through her job. So she has basically one salary with the nice upside that she can travel the world anytime while working. But uh, she was so smart to start uh, a second income stream. She used her spare time to build a second team with an affiliate marketing approach for cosmetics. She got into a company called Ringana and started selling cosmetics to women. It perfectly makes sense because uh, as a flight attendant, she talks basically to many people, she travels a lot and uh, every time when she meets someone, she can make an offer and say, hey, look, I have these nice cosmetics. Do you want to buy it? I can send it to you. You can go online, go to the website, buy the stuff. It's delivered to your house and she makes money with that. It's easy and it's very smart. A brilliant approach. So when we have the right mindset, when we strive for increasing our income throughout our life every day, there is one final part necessary that uh, rich people are doing. They save to invest. 
they put actually their money to work. Poor people have usually one mistake. They have an income and they spend everything and consume everything so that at the end of every month actually no money is left. Rich people do it slightly different. Um, what they do is paying themselves first. So they put every month when they get their salary or other income streams, they put at least 20% to 50% aside on a savings account. So one rich trade is to make money. The second rich trade is to retain cash. Many fake rich people spend everything to look rich. Some increase, uh, especially also in debt, to look even more decadent, but basically this is a, a concept that fails. Never take out debt uh, for consumption. It's just plain stupid. The smart ones stay broke. They make money and they save money. But not for the sake of saving. Saving is just the first step. During the Corona crisis, it is proven that it is smart to take care of an emergency fund. Saved money for the times of a crisis. My emergency fund usually uh, carries about three to six months um, expenses in cash on it. And this is very helpful, especially during the Corona crisis, believe me. And successful companies like uh, Apple, Microsoft, Google also prefer to keep a significant cash position or think about Berkshire Hathaway, Warren Buffett, pretty much the same. Tremendous cash amounts sitting around for uh, the times when their companies have to survive or go to survival mode, Corona crisis, for example, or when they come across a perfect opportunity to invest in. So always, always strive to invest your money that you are not needing right now. Also, Grant Cardone recommends that. Save to invest. My plan has businesses to bring in steady cash flows. Currently, I prefer to invest on the stock market. Years ago, I started by investing in managed funds. It was, I think, uh, somewhere in the late 90s. I didn't have much time to do my own research. This changed a little bit. I have more time now. And instead of investing in managed funds, uh, for anybody who wants to start investing, the savings, I am recommending usually the S&P 500 ETF uh, from Vanguard. It averages about 8 to 13 percent return per year and it has very, very, very low expenses because it's an electronically traded fund. So the conclusion that I drew from the book, it's really a book for beginners who are financially illiterate and it lays out the pretty easy how to get rich formula in clear words. Make money, increase your income, save 20 to 50% of your income every month, put it into an emergency fund first and with the money that is not needed on the emergency fund buy ETFs like the S&P 500 from Vanguard. If you do not have sufficient time to manage your investments, when you reach a point where you don't have to work to make money anymore because your ETF uh, returns or delivers uh, sufficient returns and you have more time to investigate other sources of income which you can invest in, uh, go for real estate, it's pretty safe, or go for direct investment in companies in the stock market, this is what I'm doing, it's pretty fun. And someday you might be the one who gives millions to charities and buys a jet plane to travel anywhere in the world, anytime. There is much more wisdom in this book. If you want to buy it, you will find the link below in the description to the YouTube episode. Uh, read the book and start your journey to become financial literate. Have a great day.